Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Northumberland Zoo on YouTube and welcome to Hog Springs Guinea Pig Village. <laughs> Pigs have settled in really well uh, here at the zoo. Uh, we've got our Wild West themed guinea pig village here. Howdy, ma'am. Our maintenance team have designed all of these unique buildings as part of a competition. You can see the other videos on our YouTube channel. Um, and all of these buildings are set up on these little concrete pads in the actual enclosure. So they've all got like a solid base so they don't get wet and damp. Uh, we pop little bits of food out and about on the town centre kind of square thing and along the main street so that the guinea pigs can kind of venture out and have a bit of nibble. Um, these are all rescue guinea pigs so they are a little bit shy. It's taken them a little bit of time to kind of get used to their environment. There's a lot of noises, a lot of kids. Um, but they are getting braver as we go on and every day we're kind of encouraging them to kind of move to the next building but it's in their own time of course. Uh, there's quite a bit of thick grass if you come along uh, that we've left kind of close to the pig inn where they like to hide in um, and obviously there's been quite a few comments about the fact that this enclosure is an open top enclosure and yes a lot of worries about predators but obviously in the UK we don't really have any major predators we do have foxes um, and buzzards and things like that but we do lock the guinea pigs in at night time and there's so many uh, keepers and visitors and members of the public on site at all times that predators aren't a risk at all so yes it is open top we have got quite a few open top enclosures here at the zoo but that's not an issue so anyways yes these are rescue guinea pigs from a local guinea pig rescue uh, place called uh, Gertie's guinea pig rescue it is a non-breeding group so we've got one castrated male in there and a whole bunch of females um, and yeah, they're doing really, really well. The inside of the pig inn has been custom designed. It's got three different levels. So actually the guinea pigs can come in and go out on multiple different levels and hang out on the banister as well. <laughs>
it's a confidence thing. I think that they need a little bit more time to get used to this place. Um, because you see it all the time with videos online about them living, you know, in people's yards and having a little shed they can come to at night. And um, they've gotten used to the house now, so they are really comfortable in there. Um, but hopefully, as time goes on, uh, they'll come outside, they'll be really happy. This morning, actually, we did have them outside and we actually saw them running in between the houses, getting a lot braver, which is really exciting for us. And then when they felt like it, they decided that, oh, it's time to go home and they dotted themselves back inside. So I know we've got Calamity Jane and she seems to be the best so far at, at going out on her own and things like that. So I think if we could have a couple more like her, then it would hopefully rub off on the others. Um, and then the more they come out and realise nothing awful is going to happen, um, the more they're going to stay out. Yeah, so if anybody uh, wants to uh, buy our guinea pigs um, a little present uh, to encourage them out even more, some little treats, um, then you can check out our uh, Amazon wish list, um, and it's got lots of uh, things for them to eat uh, and to uh, roll about uh, and play with. Grass is sort of parted. Yeah. Let's see. These little shadows. sort of little brown ones, I think. So they get a combination of things, um, they are a bit of grazers, so they do graze on the grass, so that's really really good for them. And then we also uh, give them a guinea pig feed, which is a dry feed, uh, and it's just got all of the things they need, supplement rise, vitamin wise for them. Uh, and then we also give them a little bit of veg as well, so it'll be a mixture of like leafy greens um, and then sometimes starchy veg, not too much of the starchy stuff though. So the whole aim of this enclosure is to really promote the right way to keep these guys. Um, you know, if you are going to keep them as a pet, we really, really want to acknowledge the fact that these guys do need um, quite a bit of room and they do, as I say, like to graze. So they should be out grazing um, and have a lot of space and be kept in the sun as well, having being exposed to the different kind of temperatures and stuff, obviously not too cold, but yeah, the sun is really nice for them too, so. Guinea pigs, they are actually social animals. Um, they generally shouldn't, they shouldn't be kept on their own. Uh, they do have um, social requirements and needs. They should be kept in either small groups or you can keep them in larger groups as well. That is what we're doing with Hog Springs, um, really, really trying to promote the right care for these guys and, and how to keep them. looks amazing. Next time you're up at the zoo, definitely come and see it. And if you like this enclosure and you like what we've done with the guinea pigs, then do give us a like and subscribe to our channel to see more as it develops.